Hello everybody. Welcome to the stream. It's uh, one of those days where I think a lot of people need a distraction, myself included. So I figured I'm going to go do a little bit of point and click adventure gaming horror themed with The Last Door. Um, this, as you can see from the, the graphics in the background, it's pretty retro. Um, but I, it's interesting. Um, it's got a really fantastic soundtrack too. Um, it, this isn't completely blind. Uh, not that I've played it directly, but um, I've watched uh, one of my favorite LPRs, uh, Halloween, Halloween 4545, uh, do this. So I've seen all the way through the game. Not this is um, this is just the first part, um, but I've seen all the way through it. But it's been a while, so it's. Eh, semi-blind, let's call it. So, let's go ahead and start with episode one. I do have, um, closed captioning turned on. So you can, uh, if that's distracting or anything to anybody, let me know. I will also probably turn down the music here in a moment. I, I turned it down before, but uh, I hadn't quite realized how much. And yeah, we're about to start exactly the way you think. Alright, um... Hold on, let me go back to the main menu real quick. Go options, let's turn down the music some more. I'll turn down the effects equally, so... Hopefully that's a little better. That was awfully loud in my, in my, my ears. So we're starting over again. A little bit. Picking up the rope. We don't know who this guy is. No clue. But let's pick up the rope. Let's pick up the chair. After all the things that I have done. Let's throw the rope. I cannot escape the course my life has taken. Now I am beyond redemption. I don't know why I'm doing this accent, but hey, why not? I just hope he can forgive me someday. That was a really bad accent, too. Yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. Strangulation. And that's how we start the last door. As mentioned, the music is fantastic. That was all my childhood friend Anthony Beachwood had written in his letter. It had been many years since I'd heard this, that sentence. It was the motto of the science and philosophy group that we had secretly run as students back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland, but we had left it all behind, like ch mere childhood memories. The letter was unusual. It could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. 
Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex and made my way to the address on the letter. And there it was, the old ha house of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Manor. Episode 1, The Letter. Now we're into traditional point-and-click adventure gameplay. So we can take the lens and we can look at stuff, um, but for the most part, um, there's nothing to look at just yet. So, so we can go around inside of the house or we can go inside, but let's go inside to start. This is strange. Everything is silent as if there were no one living here. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. And so, because I'm worried, I take off my coat and hat. But let's look at the stuff. Is this Anthony? The years have not been kind to him. A note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechworth, Due to recent events, this situation has become unbearable for us, and much to our regret, we have no choice but no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all forever grateful for all these years in your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mr. Mrs. Brewer. So those are probably his uh, servants. My coat. Yes. Let's look at the grandfather clock. It's the only sound around here besides the soundtrack. Um, let's go this way first. Unsettling music. Closed door. Can I even go over this way? I can, but, well, no, I can't. Not enough. Alright. Okay. And downstairs it is, then. Um. Ooh, it's Euclidean already. I, I went left on the, the right and came in on the... I mean... I'm going to shut up now before I, I'm, just, I'm even more dumb. A machine that plays with recorded music. I did not know that Anthony was such an enthusiast of new inventions. Which helps establish the, the kind of uh, the time period this is in even more. A cabinet with glasses and some liquor bottles. There is also a matchbox. Can I take the matchbox? Yes, I can. Now I can indulge my inner pyromaniac, should I so choose. Can I use the matches on... No, I cannot. Okay, let's go through here. This is another hallway. Seascape, there's a small boat struggling against throwing waves. It's not thematic in any way. Raining mountain landscape. Alright, so there's that. Uh, let's go over here. There's another... The portrait is crooked. Can I fix it? Sort of. Oh! Hey, that works. An old rosary. Quartz of beads with solid wooden crucifix. Can I take it? Yes, I do. Painting depicts a deep, dark forest. Um, plant. I'm likely to get lost around here. Alright, what's that? Wash bin and some toiletries. Nothing to take. What's that? A lamp to light the way. I want the lamp. I have a feeling I need the lamp. Alright, let's use the matches on the lamp. There we go. Master Anthony has made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I have found a place to hide my rosary. I cannot pray every night without it. Master Anthony has been complaining about Alfie. What would that what would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I cannot let the poor thing starve. He is such a clever cat. Each time I open the window, he knows who's, food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about Master Anthony. He is growing more and more unlike himself every day. Master Anthony is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I am really worried. An empty bowl. So I probably have to un open the window at some point. And probably have to put food there of some sort. 
some kind of cord to hold the window open. Okay, fair enough. Oops, I mean click on that. I do like that if you click to go out, you can double click. You can click again to immediately leave. All right, so nothing there. All right, so came from in there. Let's head through here if I can. Yes. Uh, so this is the like the pantry or the kitchen. Kitchen stove and some cleaning cloth. All right, so I'm taking the old cloth. Nothing there that I can take. I mean, it is a, an adventure game, so basically, if it isn't nailed down, take it. That's just the way it goes. Some of the, some things will make more sense than others. All right, so this is the backyard. Alright, so I can't do much with the crows. Not at the moment, anyway. And this takes us out to the front. But, that's okay. Because we wanted to go back upstairs. And this freaks me out every time. Because this initially looks like there's someone standing there. Alright. I have a lamp now. I can walk very slowly. There used to be a door here, clearly. Alright, moving on. A silver key, so that may be what I need to get in that downstairs room. A gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. Fireplace is black soot. Can I burn stuff here? No. Let's look at other stuff. Alright, lights. Alright. Um. 